And when there came the day when Mina placed the the pot of initiation upon my head as a first step to undergoing training as a sango. A new world was to open its arms to me. The hidden Africa, which even at that time was beginning to slowly vanish. A new world was opened to me. New vistas of knowledge beckoned to me like distant mountains. I began to learn about our people. I began to learn about the ancient law. I was told many things as I went through the rituals of initiation. In Africa, when you are an initiate, you must obey your teachers without question. You must never talk back to them. You must gather firewood in the forest and bring it to your to the place of initiation. You must never think of anything outside the circle of initiation. You had to dance, dance strenuously in order to communicate with your body, to communicate with your muscles, to communicate with your mind. Mina told me that when a person dances, he or she speaks to every vein and artery, every joint and every length of muscle within his or her body. Above all, she said, you receive power from the earth, our mother, power which flows from the deep underground into your feet and up your spine and through the top of your head. That is the power of the Sangom, the person of the drug.